we're going to talk a little bit about order of operations. And um, order of operations is going to help you get to the right answer because if you don't follow order of operations and just kind of um, do math in a way that you might think works but isn't really uh, following the rules, um, you are likely to come up with an answer different than if you were to actually follow the rules. So, uh, for instance, if I were to look at this problem here, you might think, well, I'm just going to go left to right. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 times 6 is going to be 30. So, you know, you might get 30. But in reality, uh, we're going to follow order of operations uh, which we'll talk about specifically here, but really you would do multiplication before addition. So 2 times 6 is 12, and then 3 plus 12 would be 15. So really 15 would be the correct answer and not 30. But, you know, if you didn't know, you know, you would think, well, I'm just going left to right. Anyway, let, let's go ahead and dig in and talk about what is the order of operations. Now there is an acronym, um, uh, maybe you've heard of it, it's PEMDAS or PEMDAS. Or you may have heard the little saying, please ex excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And each letter in that little phrase represents um, uh, an operation or something that you want to evaluate before evaluating other parts of the equation or expression. So uh, P is going to stand for parentheses. Okay, and that's uh, parentheses look like that. It also includes brackets. Uh, brack, let's see, brackets. I think that's with a C. Brackets, the, uh, brackets look like this. So they're a little harder edged. Um, you're probably going to see more parentheses than you will brackets, but let me give you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about here. So you might have um, open parentheses 5 plus 9 close parentheses plus open parentheses 6 plus 4 close parentheses. Now these parentheses, what, what they're doing is they're grouping uh, these this operation and uh, one way to say it is the quantity of 5 plus 9 plus the quantity of 6 plus 4 because what's in here represents a quantity and notice that we have addition here we're going to add this quantity to this quantity but you really can't add these two together until you uh, take care of what's going on inside the parentheses first. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got 5 plus 9, that's going to be 14, plus 6 plus 4 is 10. 14 plus 10 will give you 24. Let's do another example where you might see parentheses. Um, we have uh, an open parentheses, 8 plus, and then another set of parentheses inside and sometimes that happens you'll find parentheses within parentheses in this case uh, whenever you have uh, more than one set of parentheses or or a set within a set always work from the inside and then work your way out so before I uh, to add this quantity to the 8 and then subtract from it I'm going to multiply what's inside here, so that's going to give me 63, and then I'll go ahead and rewrite, so I've got 8 plus 63 minus 3, and then I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to go left to right, uh, because it's I've got add and subtract together, and we'll talk more specifically about that later. So 8 plus 63, um, that's going to be 71, I believe and then minus 3, which would give us 68. Let's do one with brackets and a set of parentheses. So we've got a bracket, 7 minus, and then some parentheses here, 2 times 6, 
and a closing bracket. So again, this is kind of like this second problem that I did. Um, and I could have used parentheses, but I chose to use brackets. And um, again, I want to solve what's inside the most, uh, the innermost quantity before I subtract it from the next level within the brackets. So I'm just going to rewrite 7 minus and then 2 times 6 is 12. And I can, once you calculate your quantity, you could drop those parentheses and then just go ahead and put your last bracket there. 7 minus 12, that's going to give me actually a negative number, uh, negative 5. Okay. Okay, so these are just some examples of how you might see parentheses or brackets. Don't worry about this negative 5. That was kind of a fluke thing. Um, we'll talk about integers or assigned numbers in the next class that you take. The next letter is the E, and that E stands for exponents. Okay. Uh, exponents, if you recall, have a base number like 2, and the exponent is that little number uh, that's uh, written up here. Let's say we've got 3 to the third power. So basically, we're saying 2 times 2 times 2. That's what uh, this exponent uh, means. This is the, ex the expanded form of what that is. 2 to the third power is going to be 8. But you might see problems with exponents. For instance, uh, 3 times 4 squared. Now the thing is, we before we can multiply, we have to evaluate this exponent number. And so 4 squared, that's 4 times 4, or 16. So 3 times 16. Now I can do the multiplication problem here and we could go, uh, let's see, 16 times 3, that's going to be uh, 8, uh, 18, so that's 48. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to multiplication. M, so here, I'll write it again, PEMDAS. The M is going to be multiplication, D, division, A, add, S, subtract. Um, and then there are uh, two rules that you want to keep track of when we're working with multiplication and division only. And when we're just doing uh, a different pen, black. When it's just addition, subtraction, there's a uh, rule that we want to keep track of. So let's go through some examples. Um, so say we have, um, let's see, M. Let's write this down here first. Application. Okay. So multiplication is going to come before, um, I, I'm going to call this a group really. Uh, so multiplication is going to come before addition and subtraction. And so we'll, let's say we have 7 times 3 plus 4. So because uh, multiplication comes before addition, we're going to do the multiplication problem first, 21, and then we'll add the 4, and then we've got our answer, 25. Okay. Say if it was written backwards, say if it was 4 plus 7 times 3. This is where it gets tricky, like that first problem we did. You know, don't just go left to right. Multiplication comes before addition. So we have to do this part first, that's 21, and then we add the 4, we get our answer. Okay, now division is also that way. Uh, division is going to come before addition or subtracting, subtraction. So we might have something like 24 divided by 3 minus 6. Uh, before I can subtract, I have to do this division problem. That's going to be 8 minus 6 equals 2. Okay, so D was for division. 
Now there is a special rule with multiplication and division. there. Okay, so the rule is that when you have multiplication and division in your expression, you're going to solve left to right. I'll give you a few examples here. So for instance, if I have um, 4 times 5 divided by 2, I'm just going to start here on my left hand side, which is the 4, and I'm going to go in this direction, okay? So I start here with this first operator, which is a times multiplication. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 divided by 2, see how I just bring it down, is 10, okay? Let's do another one. Say we have, we'll do division first. Say we've got 18 divided by 3, and then we want to multiply that by 2. And you might think, well, wait a minute, I'm supposed to multiply before I divide. But that's not the case. If you have multiplication and, div and division in your expression, you just go left to right. So we're going to divide first. That will give us 6 times 2 equals 12. Okay, now the last two are addition and subtraction. I'll go over here, so I'll write PEMDAS again. And they have that same rule. Um, so first A is addition, and S is subtraction. So they kind of go last, um, you know, it, they're, they're after all of these other operations. Uh, so again, we're going to go left to right when you're left with the addition and subtraction, which will be the last ones to do. So here are some examples. Let's say we have 15 minus 6 plus 3. You might think, well, subtraction is last, but because it's just add and subtract, I'm going to go left to right. Okay, so we start here at the 15, we're going to subtract 6, that's going to give us 9, then we're going to add the 3, 12. Or we might have it reverse. Let's say we have um, 8, and we're going to add 5, and then we're going to subtract. Uh, 3. So 8 plus 5 is uh, 13, and we're going to minus 3, and that gives us 10. Okay? So left to right when it's just add and subtract.